had a bit of a family road into the Navy. My uh, father was a Naval Intelligence Officer, my grandfather was a, a medical officer, uh, and so it just seemed like the logical thing to kind of pursue that path. Uh, so I did uh, ROTC in college uh, and came over to the HPSP program, uh, and that was really my conduit into the Navy. Well, I think the beauty of uh, Navy medicine is you have the ability to explore. Uh, whether you're going off into that operational realm or you're going down your primary specialty training, uh, there is a lot of ability for that exploration to change tack, go do something that you can't do, especially in the civilian sector. Uh, where else can you uh, go out with the Marines or uh, get on the flight line and things along those lines? Uh, so I do think that that's really valuable uh, as part of the Navy medicine experience. Why folks should come into allergy specifically uh, is, are you interested in being at that cusp of medical knowledge, uh, really translating that basic science and the clinical trials into direct clinical practice? That barrier between the clinical and the basic science is very thin in allergy immunology, and it's very exciting to be able to take something new and immediately put it into practice. Um, so I think if folks are looking for a group of patients that are challenging, but at the same time, you can really make a huge difference using the cutting edge of treatments and uh, assessment methods and things along those lines. Allergy is absolutely the right field for you. I'm just incredibly grateful for the career that I've had in uh, the Navy, and particularly in Navy Allergy. Uh, Allergy is a small community in the Navy. We're very tight-knit. Um, I love working with all my colleagues. Uh, we uh, really are a family of sorts. Uh, and I think in the broader Navy medicine, uh, I have been rewarded time and time again, and I would absolutely take this track again.